So one thing we'll notice if we play our animation is that let's just put that back to frame one. If we play our animation, is the camera starts off slow and gets faster and then slows down again, just as it did in Maya. So we know that's to do with our curves. So how can we access the curves in um, Sequencer? Well, we've got this little button here. We just press that. You can see we can see the curves for camera shot one and camera shot two. So just as per Maya, we're going to select those keys and we're going to select linear interpolation. So that means that we'll have a nice constant speed from there. Um, let's just play that real quick. So we can see the speed is now constant as per the fan. This might not be what you want, but once you understand how this curve editor works, you can get exactly what you want very easily. So if we wanted it to start off slow and then get fast, we could do user here. So that's going to go fast or slow. That's going to go slow and then we'll want... That's going to start off basically dead and then get faster. So if we watch that now, we'll see camera starts faster and then gradually slows down the finish like so um, so yeah that's how you can control the curves of individual objects in um,